All right, hello guys. Basically, this is gonna be the video that shows I bought way too much stuff while in Italy, so please enjoy that. It's gonna be a compilation of clothing that I bought, mostly at Zara because I had a problem while being there, as well as like souvenir stuff and like a lot of art stuff that I bought. Um, so let's go ahead and just dive into it, I guess. Me and my roommate, Sydney, had to buy an extra suitcase to bring back all the things, and my other suitcase was still 10 pounds overweight, so it was clearly an issue, but you know, when in Rome, I guess. I'm just gonna pull out in random order because I don't have this organized like at all. So from Zara, of course, I got this cute little jacket. It's like kind of light. It's like, it's almost a denim feel, but not really. Um, and it's gray. It has lots of like jewel detailing and fringe. I just thought this would be really cute for like game day or bar or whatever, but yeah. I also got these little PJs from this place in Arezzo called Stradivarius. Um, it was just kind of like a Forever 21 type vibe, like kind of cheaper stuff, but I got these little pajamas with these shorts and this top, and I absolutely love them. They're so, so comfy. Surprise, we have a Zara moment again. I got these little, um, kind of like, they remind me of like mom shorts, I guess. They're a little looser. Um, I'll insert a picture. I took a Instagram picture in these, and I absolutely love them. They were like really comfy, and I wasn't worried about my but falling out the entire time, so. And I just cleaned them, but there's like still dirt on the back, so hopefully that comes out. I can't remember where I got this shirt from. It was somewhere in Rome. That was, it was like a Brandy Melville type store, which they do have Brandy Melville's kind of like everywhere in Italy, which I thought was interesting and I wasn't expecting, but I actually did not buy anything from Brandy, surprisingly, while there. Um, this is just like a going out top, really. It's kind of like a halter you know, around the neck and in the back. I don't know, I thought it was really cute. I don't know, cute, it's like silver and gold, so you could kind of wear both types of jewelry with it. Another item from Zara, but this is kind of like, it's almost like, not dress length, but like longer sweater to where you could like wear it with like a skirt underneath and maybe some like tights. I don't know, again, like game day, I feel like this could be cute whenever it starts to get a little bit chillier. And again, it was on sale, so it's completely okay that I bought it. Actually, I got this hat in Venice. Um, I just like it. I think it's really extra and fun and it's really cute. So love that and then from the Amalfi Coast I just got this. I'm honestly not sure if it's black or navy. I kind of think it's navy um, Little sweatshirt. It was only 15 euros, which I guess is like 20 bucks American But still it was really hard finding like cute not tacky sweatshirts while there But found this one and I love it. It's really comfy. Okay, Zara again. Here we go This is going to turn into just strictly a Zara haul at this point um, I got this little tank top. I think it's so, so adorable. And I like that it's not cropped. It's like a regular length shirt. Super cute floral. They actually had matching pants, but I decided to not go crazy. Um, and a little strappy back. I hope, I honestly haven't tried a lot of this stuff on yet. I'm kind of just like hoping that it fits. Um, but yes, love this. Like with white jeans, so cute. Um, I got this little set. Sydney actually got the same one so we can like twin at the bars or something, I'm not sure. Um, this shirt, this is like gives me very Gucci vibes. Like this with the matching pants, which I think Ellen got the pants too. But yeah, this with like some white sneakers, I just think that'd be, it would just be a look. I think that matching sets are just a vibe and they automatically make you look put together. More things from Zara. This was also on sale, so it's okay that I bought it. Um, it kind of looks like long johns to me. It's like a little romper, waffle knit, long sleeve situation. Um, the, a lot of stuff that was on sale was like obviously just like colder weather stuff since it's really hot now. Um, but yeah, this, I don't know. I feel like I could make this cute with like a little puffer or something and some layered necklaces. I don't know, could be cute. I'm gonna try to like finish with the Zara stuff because it's kind of ridiculous at this point. Uh, it is a little, what do you call this shirt dress shirt dress? I don't know. It's plot. Oh, this is on sale too. So go me Um, it has pockets too. I think yeah, it's just kind of like a sh Collared shirt dress, but I love the tan um, plaid. I think that this is so cute I don't know. So I think it's really classy and I think that this with like little booties would Just be really cute like easy outfit or even like unbuttoned with maybe some biker shorts underneath could be the look so See how I style that eventually and I got a nice blazer that is kind of wrinkled from being shoved in my suitcase uh, Maybe I'll try this one on nice little cream Little kind of like oversized blazer. I don't know. I feel like this with um, 
biker shorts or even like sweatpants just as like a casual look would be really cute and i think this is like a just a staple piece that i don't know why i haven't already bought yet to be honest okay purse so cute i don't have like really any silver detailed purses so i love this i just think it's like a fun pop of color and i love like over the shoulder bags it's got a pretty good room in it too i don't know i just think that like even with like something like this like the pinks together just like it's a vibe and like the silver of my hat silver cute like i like it i don't even care that it's from zara at all so it's fine okay more purses because i have a problem but these ones are from florence which you did not know is apparently like the leather capital of the world this isn't even leather but i'll show you some leather ones um like they have these huge lines of shops that have like all the different purses and stuff at it but check this little butterfly purse a lot of us actually got matching ones on the trip um just like in different colors and it comes with a longer chain too but i love this one i just think that this is like so dainty and cute with like an all white outfit and people ask where you got it you're like i got this in the streets of florence okay like that is so cool to me and it's one of the reasons why i bought so much stuff as i did because i'm like I got it in Italy, so it's okay. A random section. I got some towels for my house in Norman. They're from Sorrento. I don't, it's literally a kitchen towel. It's not that exciting, but I wanted to get something for the house to kind of remember, you know, my trip. Also in Florence, I got this little leather bound book. I think this is so cool. So once again, it smells really good. It smells like leather. It says, it says Firenze made in Italy, and it's just a nice little leather book to write in basically and you can replace the paper but i don't know i thought it was like classy looking i guess okay i also got this purse which i didn't even realize was a dupe of some purse that's like 400 dollars um but whatever this one is also real leather and it's just like a gray little cute purse i like it you can take off the um whatever it's called the straps ah and just kind of do like a little side moment i don't think my arms but i guess they could ah that's a little I don't really like that but comes with straps too and i don't know just like again like cute little going out bag just throw your wallet and um your keys in it or whatever and call it a day this is so so cute i got this at a market in arezzo um for literally five euros and it's just a little tank top i definitely would need to probably like put a little cup or something in this or wear something under because it's a little see-through but i mean just like the details on this is just so cute it's like a fun color i got a matching one for my mom as well but like cute, you know, basic. This is, I didn't buy too much souvenir -y stuff. I think I literally bought like the hat, the sweatshirt and like this. The rest was kind of just like random stuff. But the fun part is not even the clothes. I think it's like the objects that I bought because I bought some really cool, like just unique like house pieces and artwork. So that's what I'm gonna show you now. All right, before I move into my kitchen where all the art is, cause I don't know why I ended up over there. I'm gonna show you two things. Now, this may look like a plate, but it is in fact so much more than a plate. Not only because of what it's, I'm about to show you, I literally bought it outside of the Trevi Fountain from this random guy. He gave me a free bracelet, it's in my room. Um, whenever Italy was playing Spain, which if you didn't know, Italy just won the Euro, so, you know, go Italia. And it was, yeah, it was outside of the Trevi Fountain with some of my greatest friends that I made on the trip. Um, and he really convinced me to get it, but how, Freaking cool is this, y'all. Like, I think this is the most, like, incredible thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, how cool is this? It's, like, hand-carved wood. I got it for 20 euros, which I don't think is bad. Um, but, yeah. I'm not going to take it to my house in Norman, but just, like, I have this kind of stack of things that I'm going to take to my home, like, my future home, once I graduate college. Um, and I just feel like this, you know, you put, like, nuts or something in it, or you could put, like, jewelry or, you know, just have it like, as decoration, as a centerpiece. And it's something that you have a story for and you can talk about. Um, I think that those are like the coolest things that I bought or the things that I'm gonna have from here until forever that I can always, you know, reminisce on my study abroad time in Italy. I also got this art book, coffee table book um, from a little store in Arezzo that sold like a bunch of old magazines and stuff. Um, and it's literally just, you know, art, but I love to look through it and I think where I got it is the most special part to me. Um, and again, it's something that people are like, what is that? And you can say, hey, like this was from my time here and talk about, you know, whatever. So now let's go take an adventure to the kitchen.
on the way here, I have to show this little decanter thing. I'm not really exactly sure what it is. This glass thing I got um, at a market in Arezzo for literally 10 euros. Um, I just think that it's so beautiful. I don't know if it's crystal. I don't know if it's glass. I don't really know what it is. I'm keeping it here at my parents' house just to keep it safe because I don't want it to break in Norman. So here is its temporary spot, but I just think that it's so pretty and I can't wait to have it like on my bar cart one day. I think it's the prettiest thing ever. All right, now I shall show you the art pieces that I got. I did get this from my dad from the same place that I got the books from, um, but it's a 1960s Italian car magazine and it's in great condition and I just think it's really cool to like look through. Obviously I can't read Italian, but it's all about, you know, place you bought it from. I got these little pieces from the street in Venice. Um, I got another one that I'm gonna give to my grandma, but I mean, they're just so pretty. They're hand painted. Um, I think it's like watercolor and pen. I'm not really sure how they did it but literally got like three for 10. It was a good deal. And again, they just have a story to them and I think they're so unique and so pretty. Okay, so there's actually a special story behind this. I don't even know if I'm allowed to show it because it's like fancy artwork. Um, but it was from this artist that me and my friend, we like walked into the space and we just immediately like loved it. He's just a great Italian photographer. I would have got the chance to meet him if we hadn't had to leave so fast. Um, but it was actually a picture of him or his wife on their first date. So I don't know, I just think, I thought it was a beautiful picture and I thought it was so cool and I can't wait to have it framed as just like a special piece of art, piece of art one day. These ones are printed, I don't think that they're hand painted at all. But um, at the time, from the time I went to the Amalfi Coast, we went to Sorrento, Positano, and Amalfi. Um, I picked up a little painting from each of them. So this one is from Amalfi, so pretty. I loved the Amalfi Coast. I thought it was like one of the most beautiful places. I've ever been. I would actually vlogged it, but I still need to edit that. So I don't know which one of those is going up first, but this, which one is this? This is from Sorrento, which is where we actually stayed. I absolutely loved Sorrento, but I liked Posi Positano the best, um, like lemon capital or whatever. I don't even know. They have really good, huge lemons. Um, so I just got one from each of the places that I visited. And then I got these, I got three of these. So they are, they're pretty big actually. These are kind of like huge. Um, just like, these are like classic photos, but I mean, they were only, uh, I think I got three for 40 euros, which is not bad because prints are kind of expensive nowadays. So I got this one, this is Romy Schneider, Romy. This one's Elizabeth Taylor, flipping people off, pretty iconic. Um, and then this one is Bridget Bardot. So I think that, you know, in my like future house, I would like align them like black, white, black. I don't know, I just think powerful and beautiful woman. Why don't you want that on your wall? I do. Um, one of the random things that I purchased was oregano. Um, so it came in like a bag, but I just put it in here, which kind of looks like not oregano. Um, but I'm excited to cook with this. I bought some jewelry, but honestly not enough to like show. Oh, I will show. My one thing that was my one um, big purchase, my expensive purchase. I'll show you. Here was my expensive purchase. Look, oh, okay, okay. Are you kidding? It is literally so cute. Let me put it on. It's so pretty. I love it. My fingers are literally so swollen, it won't even go on. I don't really know what's happening. But yes, love that. So I ended up separating out all the jewelry so I could show you because it's some of my favorite stuff. I got these little star earrings from a market in Arezzo. They were super cheap, like five euros or something. These from Zara, I actually have like the clear ones of these, but I really like them. So these are on sale too for five euros. Super cute. I got these in Sorrento and I'd have to like look more into it, but this is like some Italian horn thing. It's supposed to mean good luck. So I got two different colored ones. They're black and red and they have little stars on them and I think they're really cute. I think I got this necklace in Florence at a little boutique and I actually wore it on the beach in Sorrento. I just really, really like it. I thought it was different. Um, I wore it in the ocean, so it's kind of like turning colors, but that's whatever. Um, but yeah, really beachy, cute necklace. I like it. That is all the jewelry that I got. Oh, that's all the jewelry from Italy. Now that I have officially destroyed my area with me showing y'all what I got.